Hello and welcome to the 22nd episode of my 1860 Munich career mode. Um, very big game to kick off this episode. Um, I was going to be playing FC Cologne, the team that is in first place in the Bundesliga 2. We are in second, and this is a massive game. Coming into this game, Cologne had won every single game that they had played so far. Um, knew that it was going to be a very tough game. Put the pressure on early, which was pretty good. So you can see Cologne trying to clear it here. P at zone, keeps control of it. Cuts in, very nice fake shot here. Forces a save from the goalkeeper. Nearly went in. Could have gone in just as, just as easily um, with that bounce there. But another long shot there from Wojtkowiak. But unfortunately, this team is in first place for a reason, and they come up here with a goal. Omar makes the save, and Torino just stands around and watches. And Yabo scores in the 18th minute. They go up 1-0. Um, foul here from my team. I believe that was Benzia getting the foul, committing the foul, rather. Um, 45th minute in stoppage time. They score off the set piece, 2-0. Breco scores, we go down, and it, they were a tough team to play against. Um, can't really can't really make any excuses, they're a good team. Um, so we just had to fight back, and we did everything we could to claw our way back. Got the first goal here in the 53rd minute. Benzia scoring here. Benzia is right up there with the leading scores in the league. Um, I think he's a goal or two behind the leading scorer. Um, P at zone then here. Look at this, some dribbling, being patient. Great fake shot here. Fires a shot off his weak foot, puts it in the corner. And we draw level in the 82nd minute. P at zone there, but there's always a but in this series. I, I don't know what else I could have done here. Torino tries to come over at number 20. Player Yabo gets in his way. A winning goal, it seems. Yep, uh, that that happened. Uh, we ended up losing this game three to two after fighting all the way back. Um, extremely unfortunate for us. Definitely would have been cool to at least get a point out of this going to Cologne. Of course, last year we played. Um, we defeated. Um, Hertha Berlin, the team that ended up winning the league. Both times we played them, a home and away. Uh, yet we couldn't make anything else happen. To come close to the point total they had. and I'm kind of thinking Cologne might do the same thing, which is kind of, kind of weird. Um, just because Cologne, they seem like they have a real good team. But uh, we lost that game. Vincent Kerbrat, um rejected the first... Um, first contract offer we made for him he was unhappy about his wages because he's still on his first contract after being promoted from the youth academy he ended up accepting that deal later on so all was peachy with our young french center back next game 1860 munich versus sc Paderborn. this is a game that um Paderborn's mid table um i believe they were like 14th or 15th kind of just some stupid uh defending here <laughs> this game is just just killing me. <laughs> um, don't know how that all happened, but it happened. Um, and Yassine Benzia, just a few minutes later, releases Christian Ducart too. This was his first game. Young French striker, 16 years old. He has five-star skills. Um, scored his first goal right there. Doesn't have a very good weak foot, but... Um, I do believe he's going to be a fantastic addition into this team. Um, I said that it's going to be very rare that I go out and purchase any more real players um, in this series. I want to mainly rely on youth. I think that's why this career mode for FIFA 13 is so fun because it's so e not easy, but it's cool. <laughs> so we were tied 1-1 at half um, not much happened in the second half even shot opportunities <clears throat> excuse me um, but yeah um, not, like I said it was pretty boring second half so I'm not even going to show any of, of it the game did end 1-1 one one. unfortunately we draw Paderborn at home a team that we probably should have beaten 
um, but for whatever reason just wasn't our day. Um, Duke R2 gets his first goal pretty cool um, in his debut. And our next game, final game of the episode, was against SV Sandhausen. What's with this? I don't understand this skill game. Um, yeah. I'd really love to know. So, do you know what, how to beat that? Not that I really care, but I kind of want to know just because. Anyway, on to the game. Um, he hits zone, getting an opportunity there. Dominique Stahl with it. Plays to Vissing, one of our young uh, youth talent um, prospects <clears throat> out of our youth academy. P its own then, breaks inside, gets into the middle on his left foot. 32nd minute, P its own makes it 1-0 in our favor. And then this is towards the end of half number one. Mako dribbling around. Marvel Wynn getting into the attack. Yasin Benzia receives a pass from him. Benzia cutting inside and fires one just wide. Always a threat inside the area anytime he gets on the ball. Um, as you can see right there, Sandhausen, even though we're only at one nothing, we were dominating. Um, they hardly saw the ball, and I think they only had one shot um, even anywhere near our goal. They had one shot that went well wide, and it was a very slow shot, so Omar never would have really been threatened by that, and that was in the second half. Um, but unfortunately, Ducor 2 gets hurt. He gets a, goes down with a sprained ankle. He could have played on, but I decided I didn't want to risk any further damage to that ankle, so I took him off the field, um, put a beanie say on there, and I always talk about how the attack and you know your opposition will go forward in the last 10 minutes of the game. Well, the near post OP off the counter attack, Yasin Benzia makes it 2 0. Excuse me, um, makes it 2 0 in the 85th minute. Had some other chances as well, um, even towards the end of the game. Couldn't take advantage though. Um, 89th minute, Benzia dribbling by here, left-footed effort, right at the goalkeeper. Um, game was in the bag, just wanted to put a stamp on things a little bit further. So that was it, we win 2-0, a loss, a draw, and a win in this episode. Um, we are still in second place. Um, Cologne is just killing everyone that they play, so going to be really hard to keep up with Cologne and try and win Bundesliga 2, which was the goal. And Duker 2, get the email, he's going to be out for three weeks because of a sprained ankle. Um, scouting report from Germany, I believe this was the last one, um, last of the three, last uh, report um, of this scouting trip. Um, Sebastian Koch looks like a promising player, decided to sign him. I believe I also signed Maurice Kirschbaum as well. Looks like he could be a potential star for our team. Um, so that means set up two more scouting networks. Um, our French scout, Gary Kamara, decided to send him to the Netherlands um, for a winger. Um, maybe he'll end up finding the next Robin. Um, that would be pretty nice. Someone, someone kind of like that. Um, and our German scout, I'm probably never going to have him go anywhere other than Germany just because <clears throat> this is a German team. It's going to have a lot of German, um, a lot of, a lot of German talent regardless, so, um, what look for a defensive-minded player, but that is it for this episode. If you like to like, comment, subscribe, that would be much appreciated, and you can see on the side, Cologne is killing everybody. That's it for this episode. I will see you next time.